Gadag is one of the drought prone district in the state of Karnataka. Out of the 10 years rainfall cycle, farmers face 7 years of agricultural drought. Nearly 30% of the soil type is red sandy loam. Farmers mainly cultivate groundnut, maize, green gram and sorghum in Karif season. The crops are non-remunerative due to moisture stress during agricultural drought years. Mahalingpur cluster of villages are tribal hamlets located in Kapattagudda hill terrain of the district. These villages are not an exception to climate vulnerability. Frequent occurrence of early, mid and terminal drought in Karif season has severely affected the productivity of the field crops. The cluster villages were adopted by ICAR KVK Gadag since 2015-16 under the project NICRA with the support of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, New Delhi. Climate resilient technologies have been implemented in these cluster villages. To address the agricultural drought situation, ICR KVK Gadag has taken up Nikra project in Malinklora cluster of villages. Interventions of KVK have brought the sustainability in farm production and stability in the income of the farmers through this project. Rainwater harvesting through desilting of existing community ponds and check dams was one of the major interventions taken up by the project. It has benefited the farmers in terms of increased groundwater status, which in turn recharged the adjacent borewells. The pond has become a drinking water source for village cattle. Both the community pond and the check dams harvest nearly 72 lakh liters of water once these are filled. The intervention has brought 15.2 hectares of additional area belonging to 12 farmers under the protective irrigation in Mahalingpur village. <laughs> In situ conservation practices like conservation furrows, contour cultivation and compartment bunding were demonstrated in 92.4 hectares of area involving 231 farmers, which has enhanced the productivity of crops by 15 to 20 percent. To minimize the risks involved in the sole crop cultivation of maize, the maize and the red gram intercropping system 5 is to 1 was introduced in 130 hectares area involving 325 farmers. This intercropping technology is upscaled in 450 hectares and farmers are getting average additional income of rupees 10,000 per hectare. Green gram and red gram intercropping system was demonstrated in 36 hectares involving 90 farmers. This intercropping system has fetched additional net return of rupees 9,500 per hectare. The technology is upscaled in 121 hectares in cluster villages. Foxtail millet as an intercrop in red gram has benefited 48 farmers in terms of additional income of 11,000 rupees per hectare. In our Bredadi Grama, we have a very good relationship with Kanlu Matu Gudagadu Pradesh. We have a very good relationship with Kanlu Matu Gudagadu Pradesh. We have a very good relationship with Kanlu Matu we have to use the same thing as the same thing as the same thing as the 
Variety ICTP A203 as an intercrop in red gram, high yielding and drought tolerant crop of foxtail millet. Variety DHFT1093, DGGV2 variety of green gram, a high yielding and non shattering type was introduced to address the productivity constraints. Increase in the yield to the tune of 23.17% was noticed in the demonstration plots. The variety is spread in 215 hectares with an average additional income of Rs 3019 per hectare. Promotion of dryland horticulture was one of the major thrust areas. Mixed fruit orchards involving fruit crops such as mango, cashew nut, amla, jamun and the tamarind were demonstrated in 45 hectares to bring long-term sustainability in view of the climatic vulnerability involved in the field crop cultivation. This is upscaled in 80 hectares in convergence with the state government schemes. Nanu sumaru naaku ekra pradeshadalli nikra yojane deli maavu nerale nelli godambi ee gidagalannu hakiddene sumaru ge 3 varsha 4 varsha hake hakidide 20 rinda 25000 rupay aadaya baruva nirikshayalli iddene perennial grasses known as hybrid napier guinea grass signal grass and silage for bringing nutrition security azolla cultivation and area specific mineral mixture enrichment of dry fodder were promoted as additional animal feeds upgradation of local goats with improved jamunapari buck breed was taken under the project benefiting 35 farm families manneka nikra yojaneti kevikiva manneka pila dinete mari 3 chheli vetti abhya 40 chheli vegiche aji demelo jo pil pila ghan cha मा ये पिला दिने जे पर जीवना कर लेता नहीं नेक तीस साय छेड़ी कर ले वर्षा लाख डोल आके छेड़ी वे चुचु एंड फायदो ठीक छे कस्टम हायरिंग सेंटर एस्टैब्लिश्ड अंडर निक्रा प्रोजेक्ट इज इक्विप्ड विद एग्रीकल्चरल इंप्लीमेंट्स फार्मर्स हैव बीन यूजिंग द सर्विसेज ऑफ द सेंटर ऑन रेंटल बेसिस सो फार द सेंटर हैज अर्न्ड एन इनकम ऑफ रुपीस 76000 ಮಟ್ಟದ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ರೈತರಿಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಒಂದು 5 ರೂಪಾಯಿಯಿಂದ 200 300 ರೂಪಾಯಿವರೆಗೆ ಪ್ರತಿ ಒಂದು ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಮೇಲೆ ರೇಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ನಿಗದಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ಒಂದು ರೈತರಿಗೆ ತಮ್ಮ ತಮ್ಮ ಹೊಲವರಿಗಳನ್ನು ಸಾಗೋಳಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಬಿತ್ತಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಗ್ರಾಮಕ್ಕೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟರು ಸೀಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡೆಡ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕಂಟಿಂಜೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಚುಯೇಷನ್ the comprehensive interventions of kvk along with the institutional mechanism has not only addressed the climatic risks but also promoted the efficient use of natural resources and resilient technologies this brought the sustainability in farm production and stability in the income of farmers this impact has been achieved in 5 years of project intervention KVK has been upscaling project interventions both vertically and horizontally so that the livelihood security of all the farm families is achieved. <laughs>